the goal has always been to do a recording where you don't have hiss. And the MIDI tracks, as far as the MIDI tracks are concerned, you won't have no problem with those. The only problems you're going to have is the audio. And that's the, that's the only challenge that you'll ever have when it comes to recording your songs, okay, with, with vocals, okay. So I'm going to do this with the effects turned on. And this is track 20, 21, and 22, okay. So I'm going to play it. Okay, so you didn't hear no hiss as it played into it. In fact, I'll play each one of these audio tracks individually. Here's a little play button in the corner. Listen. Weeks. You didn't hear anything leading up to it. It was quiet till it hit the uh, the audio wave. Twenty one. Fourteen weeks. Okay. Next track, 22. So you don't hear anything until the audio sound. 14 weeks. Okay. So now let's turn these effects off on all three of these and let you hear the difference. Okay. You see all the blue, blue lights on these, the blue square cubes. They're on. So I'm going to disconnect them. Okay. Make them, um, inactive so now when i play going into it watch you hear these this hiss that is a tremendous amount of hiss hissing sound that you hear Fourteen. see i mean it does clip because i do have some of these Affects the vocalize of the vocal finalizer kind of suppresses It acts as a limiter. So it doesn't really clip so But yeah The the hissing was amazingly loud So let's turn them back on Turn that one on Turn track 22 on Turn track 21 on and let's play it See that? No hiss going into it. And when it finally hits, no clipping. See, it doesn't clip. Okay. So let me turn off the final of uh, the vocal finalizer. Okay. Turn off the vocal finalizer on that track. Turn off the vocal finalizer on this track. Now let's see what it sounds like without the vocal finalizer. So there's no doubt the uh, vocal finalizer applies the limitation to the uh, to the audio as well as eliminate the hissing sound. So I've got to turn it back on, vocal finalizer. So it's really important that you guys get this plug in. And now it's all everything's back on. I activated the final the vocal finalizer. Look at that. Weeks. Amazing. Okay, so with the Mixcraft software, the only issue you will have as far as quality recording is the audio. Now, if you're plugging the guitar into the audio, no problem. It's the microphone. The microphone feature that you use when you plug your own microphone into the system is what's going to introduce noise, hissing noise. So I've been trying all kinds of settings on this. It looks like I have a good combination here. The TB parametric equalizer, the acoustic reverb, vocal finalizer. Now that's a plug-in. You will probably have to install this. Um, I paid for this. And you'll be able to install this into your uh, VST 
uh, uh, part of the feature of this program to, you know, to install it into the program. I have a video that kind of walks you through that. So, but, uh, but you, you'll have to pay for this one. And this really is a great, great feature. And you can remove a lot of the hissing noise and what forth with this. So that you just get a more quieter sound on the, uh, the vocals. Now, I'm, I don't really use a studio microphone. Here I'm using a dynamic microphone. The studio microphone is really going to suck in a lot of <laughs> sound. You know, it's great quality, but it's going to take in a lot of sound. So if you're doing microphone work on your, uh, you know, your home computer, you might just kind of go with a dynamic microphone. Um, unless you have a booth, a, you know, an insulated soundproof booth with a studio microphone, that'll work. But in most cases, if you're just in a room in your home and you don't have uh, insulation, you don't want to use a um, studio microphone. <laughs> you want to just use kind of like a dynamic microphone, okay? And that's, uh, I'm going to bring that into view. That's pretty much, boy, that's big. That's pretty much what I have here. All right, so let me put that back. So let's play a, a clip here of my audio. I'm going to just, I'm going to deactivate all these features I have on the effects. My doctor says to me. So you can probably hear the hiss on that. It's uh, really loud. Let's crank it up a little more so you can hear that hiss. My doctor says to So you can really hear the hiss. We're going to activate all my effects. So even when I start it, you don't hear anything. My doctor says to me it won't be long, 14 weeks. Okay. So that's the difference right there when you're using the right effects to get rid of the noise. Um, and of course, when I mentioned about the limiter, because you don't want the, the signal, the volume to peak. So if I play that again. My doctor says so you see, it won't be long. Right there, it doesn't peak. So as long as it doesn't peak, then there's no need to use the limiter okay now if I put compression the compressor will probably make a lot of noise okay let's try that okay so let's look for a compressor feature because maybe I don't have as much volume so I'm gonna see if I can do that now I'm afraid that if I add the compressor I might add more noise to it there's acoustic compressor okay that's compressor I'm not gonna do anything with the settings I just Go ahead and X out the uh, the edit the editing feature. So I got my acoustic impression. So let's click to see if I hear any noise. Wow, wow, no noise there. That's great. So now if I play this, it's going to really be louder. My doctor says to me it won't be. So I have to actually pull back on the volume just to bring it down. That's great. Okay, so let's let's put that volume back where it was. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it, and then when I start singing, I'm going to deactivate the compressor. My doctor says to me it won't be long. Fourteen On. weeks. Off. Okay. Okay, it's off. Here's off. My doctor says to me, it won't be long. Okay, that's on. So now that I got the right settings to get rid of the hiss, and yet I got clarity, I am going to name this. See, it was lead vocal, multiple effects. I'm going to rename it. The vocal multiple effects too. Okay, now I saved it. And so in this next um, clip, I want to turn off all the other effects except the vocal finalizers.
So I'm going to turn off the acoustics, compression, and then I'm going to turn off the acoustic reverb. Turn off the acoustic reverb on track 20. And then on track 21, turn off the acoustic reverb. And then I want to get the... Um, but tell you what, let's just turn off the reverb. So we got the compressor off, we got the reverb off. Okay, so let's play it, see what it sounds like. Interesting, interesting. So we just left the vocal finalizer on and we left the TB parametric equalizer on. So that's this one. And see, I gotta make sure I grab the uh, vo the final vocalizer. Okay, the vocal finalizer. <laughs> it's that's a tongue twister. Just keep trying to think of that. Okay, so it's these two right here. Okay, so it's a big, big, important grab for the plugin that you need to get. The vocal finalizer. You must get that one. Now, as far as I know, okay, this works beautiful to cut out the hiss. Okay, like I say, you can screenshot what I have here on the setting for the TB parametric equalizer. That comes with the um, mix craft okay you'll get that but it's just this plug-in here for the vocal finalizer that's the only one that you're gonna need um, these two these two may be all you need okay I have a I have a reverb going on let me go ahead and close these out see I have a reverb going on with the acoustic reverb it would appear I don't need to have that on because I do have reverb with the vocal finalizer got that there okay so when I look at the master track for the effects the master mix the final mix down I have to ask myself do I need the limiter on this okay so let's play it we'll watch the uh, we'll watch the volume here play it okay so it doesn't peak Let's turn it off. Okay, it's still not peaking. Alright, so it really kind of shows that I don't need it. But let's see what happens if you turn off all the effects on the master for the mix down. Okay, let's play it back. I lost a lot of volume from that. See, I don't have much volume. So I'm going to need to utilize uh, these effects. The compression gives it more punch. The paltry protronic tube gives it more brilliance. I don't know if I really need the limiter. Play without the limiter. Okay, let's do with the limiter. Let's see if we notice any difference. Without not much difference at all. So I could go with it or without it. But nonetheless, uh, there you have it. Okay, so this is just a video about how you can just try to take as much hiss out of your home recording when you're using uh, Mixcraft 9. Uh, the importance of, you know, having that Vista, the uh, vocal finalizer, um, very important software here, plug in. So if you can uh, get this, you want to definitely get it. Uh, but I've really learned that in the end, when it comes to the final mix down, this effects, you want to Definitely, uh, let me see if this thing's way back here. I lost it now. Okay, there it is. That's the master mix there. So the Poltronic Tube EQ and the acoustic compression is really all you need.
okay? But the patronic tube is really important because it's going to give you the brilliance, make things stand out. Uh, it's going to give you the warm sound that you need. And so it make your final mix, you know, excellent. Okay.